thank you who are watching this video now and in the future. Um, we are getting ready to go into a time of the full moon of Taurus and it's a super moon. And so I'm doing this video to share some understanding of what that means for us and how these energies could affect us what will be drawn to us because of this Taurus full moon so the moon every, every a lot of people understand I don't want to say everybody but a lot of people do understand that the moon pulls on emotions because it affects the water waters of the earth and it's amazing because water actually represents emotion when you read the tarot. And so it makes sense being that we're creatures who are mostly uh, made up of water. That the full moons and as well as the rest of the moon phases could affect our emotional state of being. And so... This supermoon I found really interesting, so I did a little bit of research because I'm not an astrologer, I'm not a numerologist, but I will research things and learn about it, so I guess I am an, an, an amateur astrologer and, and a beginning an amateur numerologist as well. Um, but these, this is how I'm becoming that because I'm learning information about all the stuff that's going on that affects us, and as I do that, obviously... You retain information. So right away, I kept noticing that everybody was saying that it's at 22 degrees of Taurus. And so 22 is a very powerful master builder number. But let's go ahead and um, go through this list of things that I wrote down about this Taurus supermoon. It's the largest and most visible. It's 15% larger and 30% brighter than any moon full moon we will have from the years of 1948 to 2034. So it's almost 100 years. It's what, what is that, 12-year difference before 100 years? As you can hear my children in the background, hmm, it creates, it pulls on emotions, and it creates lunacy. And some people become moonstruck. There's such a thing as full moon madness. And that's because of the pull of the moon on people's emotions. Mommy. What, honey? You okay? Okay, so as there are several different distractions, I was anticipating this. I'm, I'm doing this video while my children are here. I don't usually do videos with my children in the same room. I have my two grandchildren and my niece daughter, but I did it today because I felt like this is something More. like the energy that we might More. be dealing with. More. Here, you still have some. Look, he's asking for more. His ball is, he's still got a bottle. So More. you still have some. More. This is kind of what people are going to be dealing with. Like, how are you going to deal with while well, you're trying to accomplish something and then you have all these things coming from the side and it's other external things. It's not you. It's those surrounding you. Because we're all responding differently to the energies that are coming at us and we're all at a different state of being. There's some in there. Drink it. No. There's, you already have some. You have to finish this first. Yeah. Well, w when it's time to eat in a little while, I'll give you some more food. But I just gave you a whole bunch of food. Can you two just calm down for a minute and let me finish this, what I'm doing? Yeah. Thank you. That would be really nice. Okay, here. Sit there and drink that. And we'll let me finish, okay? So that's what you might have to deal with. With um, people... Going through their own things and trying to insert themselves into your life in a way that you don't really, like, it's like things would be a little bit more smoother if I didn't have to go around what you're presenting. 
But back to my list. The moon and its uh, rotate its uh, movements pulls on the water forces and the waters of the planet, which pulls on your emotions. And so the cool thing about this supermoon is that it is in Taurus. I love that. Um, because in Taurus, the moon is exalted, which means it's in its comfortable, happy, and serene place, which means that the emotions that it's going to try to pull on are comfortable, happy, and serene. Now, um, the thing of it is, there's some people who try to live in flow with the universe, in flow with the energies. If you're one of these people, then it'll be, it should be easy for you to find these comfortable, happy, and serene emotions for yourself because that means you're in harmony with the universal flow. If you are trying to swim up tide at a time where the planet is, or the, the moon is pulling on the forces of water in the planet, it would be a very stressful ride because of the fact that you are going against a force that is giving added force at this time. And so, um, comfortable, happy, and serene will be difficult for you to attain if you're not working in harmony with these energies, if you're not in flow with this universe, with the, the pulling of your emotions within you because now you're trying to go in a different direction so it's I always get when I think about this I always get the image in my mind of being drawn and quartered from your emotional body from your physical body and so comfort happy and serene doesn't come if you're in a state of being drawn and quartered so if that's something that you're feeling if you're in a state of of frustration at during around surrounding this time understand that what's going to help you is to go with the flows and how do you go with this Taurus flow well you chill out <laughs> number one chill out chill out it's not a big deal as you think it is I don't care what you think is such a huge deal there is nothing that is such a huge deal for you to totally come out of your character so chill out Enjoy the pleasures, the luxury, and the stability that you have in life. Do you have something that you enjoy in life? And if all it is is that luxurious sheet in between your feet, well, then go lay in your bed. If the best time in your life is when you're um, sleeping, well, then by all means, rest up. Um, where is luxury in your life? You know, for some of you, there's different opinions of what luxury is. I once spoke to a person who actually told me that they enjoyed conflict, battle, and warfare. That was luxurious to them. In their mind, they enjoyed being surrounded by it. In my mind, I'm like, no, I'd rather go high-end shopping at Fashion Show Mall or stay in a five-star hotel or eat at a five-star restaurant. That's more of my taste of luxury. Everybody has a different one. What is yours? Go there and enjoy that for a while. And what's stable in your life? Give attention to what's stable in your life. Because if you do these things, it's going to help you to make the most of this energy in the Taurus supermoon. Now, if you're already in flow with the universe, you're already in tune with your soul self and following its guidings, well, then all, it's simple to do these things. Just continue doing these things. You're already doing these things. You're already appreciating these things if you're in flow with this universe. You're already appreciating these things if you're um, noticing how this planet and its energies are here to support you and are working out for you. One thing, too, that Taurus is going, this Taurus supermoon is going to help is bring, to bring in uh, greater access.